Walking Dead fans, I don't even know what the truth is anymore. News broke that uh, Melissa McBride, who plays Carol in the world of The Walking Dead, has dropped out of the Daryl Carroll spinoff show that was announced. A show that I've been looking forward to, that you've been looking forward to, that was a huge spoiler because it just confirms that Daryl and Carol are going to survive the main show. That may not be the case anymore. Because like I said, it was originally announced that Daryl and Carol were going to co-headline a feature, a, a spinoff series together. And um, now it's just being reported that's going to be a Daryl only show. What does this mean? What does this mean for Carol's character? What does this mean for the world of The Walking Dead going forward? I am a huge fan of Carol. Carol is a great character in The Walking Dead universe. I know so many people that consider Carol to be the best character. So they were very, very excited. And I've seen a lot of comments. I've seen a lot of people talking about it online. They were very, very excited to see where Carol can go as a character going forward in the, in the world of The Walking Dead. I agree and I disagree to an extent. One thing I most certainly agree with is that Daryl is a great character and there's a lot more that you can do with Daryl, I feel like, because Daryl, through most seasons of The Walking Dead, follows a very similar character arc. There's not much that really goes on with him. It's usually Daryl going through very similar character arcs and different scenarios. Now granted, I think the same thing can be said about Carol. Carol is known. One of the biggest critiques for Carol as a character is that she often goes through the same exact character arc over and over and over again. I feel like Carol in a perfect world should have been I'm not going to say written off the show a couple seasons ago because I don't believe that. I like watching her. She's one of my favorite characters. I like seeing her on screen. I would have been sad had she left. But her character arc was more or less... It came around 360 in season 8 when she found Henry in the exact same filming location that she lost Sophia. And um, since then, they've just sort of been not really knowing what to do with her, I feel like. Now, granted, not knowing what to do with her doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing because she has had great character arcs since then. Her whole arc with Henry is one of my favorite arcs in the whole world of The Walking Dead since season 9. Her relationship with Ezekiel is one of my favorite relationships in the show. It feels like the most pure, true, honest relationship that I've seen. But there's just only so many times that we can see that with Carol. There's only so many times that we can see her connect to a new child, to see her lose a child, to see her fake her way into a society. She did it with the kingdom, she's doing it again with the commonwealth. I feel like Carol as a character is better off with her whole arc, her whole story, her whole journey ending with the final season of The Walking Dead. I don't want her to die though. I do not want Carol to die. I want Carol to live peacefully with Ezekiel in the commonwealth or whatever community or society our main characters build at the end of the show. I feel like that is a perfect send off for Carol. She's been through so much shit. She's been through so much heartbreak. She's been through so much rage, so much violence and death have surrounded her. And um, I feel like it would be so disheartening. It would be so depressing for Carol to die, though that would give her the peace that she needs in some sense. I feel like overall it would be a sad ending. And I feel like if any character really, really deserves a happy ending and a happy life, it's Carol. So I feel like her character should end. Her arc should end. I don't want her to, I don't want to see her go on in a spinoff and face more death and more hardship and lose more people close to her. I don't want that. I want her to live happily ever after with Ezekiel and then maybe reappear somewhere down the road in another spinoff or in a Rick Grimes movie or if they end up bringing back the main show of The Walking Dead. Then... I would like to see Carol again, but for the time being, I just want to know that she's living a happy life and is finally able to lay her head down and just chill. Daryl, on the other hand, Daryl is a character with massive, massive, massive potential. And I touched on this briefly, but I'm going to go into it more. I feel like Carol as a character has done everything she can do and should do. I feel like Daryl, there's just so much more you can do with him. So much more world for him to explore. So many different character arcs and plot points and places for him to go and for things for him to go through. And I feel like had one of them continued on in the spinoff, I feel like we're going to get better plots, better stories, and just overall more with Daryl. I feel like Daryl has a lot more left to give to this universe. And that's why I'm glad that Daryl is continuing the spinoff show. Because, you know, it could have sucked. They could have said that the spinoff is just canned, canceled, period. That would have been depressing as fuck. But if they came to me, if AMC came to me and was like, you pick who continues the spinoff. It can only be one, Daryl or Carol. I would say Daryl without a heartbeat for the reasons that I just gave. Now let's talk about the fact that 
Melissa McBride did drop out. Why did she do that? I don't know. It wasn't reported. And if it was, I didn't read it. That's one thing about me. I don't really watch many trailers for The Walking Dead. I don't really delve into the behind the scenes of The Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. My channel is essentially built around talking about The Walking Dead. I love it. I know so many of you love it. Yeah, I don't really go out of my way to know everything that's going on behind the scenes. I just like to sit down every week and watch the show. So with that being said, I don't know why Carol left. I don't know if it was ever told. I feel like it's got to be two reasons. It's got to either be that Melissa McBride thought about it, thought about it a second time, and said, I've had a long run with the show. With the spinoff, I'm good. I think I'm going to end my, my, my reign as Carol with the final season of The Walking Dead and then just let the world continue on without me. However, I have a feeling that it's plot reasons. I have a feeling that the plot was rewritten, the story was rewritten, the final season could have been rewritten to include either her happy ending or her death. And I feel like the writers and the creators and the producers of The Walking Dead may have realized that that may be a better send-off for Carol as opposed to shoving her into a spinoff. But maybe that's not the case because the spinoff has been planned. The spinoff has been announced. The spinoff was announced a while ago. It was announced this past summer, I think, if not longer. And um, the final season's already finished filming. So maybe that's not actually the case now that I actually think about it. Maybe there's behind the scenes creative differences. I would find that really hard to believe. I mean, Melissa McBride has been with that show since season one. She's been in it with Frank Darabont. She's been in it with Scott Gimple. She's in it now with Angela Kang. She's been in it through the highs and the lows, the best seasons, the worst seasons, great writing, horrible writing, great episodes, shitty episodes. So I can't see a world where she would be like, I don't creatively vibe with what you're going for, so I'm out. If I had to pick and what I'm hoping for, I hope it's the thing that I if I had to bet money on is the correct answer, and that is that they just decided to write her off in a different way. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the latest Walking Dead news about Carol dropping out of the spinoff. What do you think about this news? And do you like this video? Do you want to see me do these type of videos more? This is the very first time that I'm attempting to do a video just discussing Walking Dead news. So let me know.